guys, Riveted here. Welcome back to another episode of Vanishers, Ghost of New Eden. Hope you guys are doing well. We are headed off to go and figure out what's going on at God's, is it God's Acre. I don't know, I can't even remember. <clears throat> God's Acre. Okay. Am I following this thing? Jesus Christ, I didn't even notice that. Follow. Thank you. Maybe it'll be easier to spot now. We'll see. Thoughts on Caleb? You first, young man. He's haunted. Haunted. To the point of madness. Ruth and Alexander, maybe? Maybe. But something feels off. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. I'm okay with this. That's one hell of a... Oof. I did not like that game. <laughs> <laughs> place. No, thank you. God's Acre? God's Acre. To get over there. Too heavy to lower from your side. We'll be able to jump across. Nope. Ah, we can. And of course, it's haunted. Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth, and whatever got Kate up acting so strange. Okay. Someone's been doing some undertaking. In New Eden, there's much to be done. Yeah, no oh, shit. For a meat suit. Call on me. That was great. I like how she said that. Spectre going out for a meat suit. Oh god. Three robbers. Yes. But what exactly were they stealing? Ruth Watson. There's another grave beneath it.
Decoys to distract wayward specters. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. If undertakers did this, they should find other work. I doubt there's a job on Earth that suits whatever did this. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did. And he's at the top of my list. Yeah, no shit. Well, they made quite the mess. Perhaps the decoys make sure it's the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I'll try. This way, more of them. That's what I was talking about when I said don't get too close. Demonology. I should have known. Mm -hmm. And that always leads back to one person. The governor. <laughs> God's green hell is this? Fight now, talk later. Think you could take on a ghost? Watch. That harvester switched for. Physical to spectral. They do that. A vicious scourge that despises the living. In these lands, what a surprise indeed. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. Shreds of a memory linger here. Who oh, there, fella? You nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also shoddy. It's very poor work.
Any parchment? Jesus Christ. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need. Picking up something spectral nearby. Okay. What is this? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual of... that ritual? The one that brings someone back? That ritual? Yes, that ritual. Nope. I failed this one all right. Better not be the storage, that would fucking suck. I raise for now the veil of shadows. Flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. Is he still in there too? He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, that's a stupid thing to do. Try to bring See this again. You don't play with you don't play with the magic when it's bad. You don't know what you're doing. Get yourself in more trouble. I think he actually loved his wife enough to bring her back and fail so miserably at it. I'm a 
first. Did I get them all? I may as well kind of investigate this place a little bit more just in case I'm not coming back here anytime soon. Because you never know what could be hiding here. There could be good loot. That's the second one we've gotten. The farmer. Wanna bet that's a third? Let's see if we can get there. Something's here. Hidden. Okay. Do I? I don't think I have enough pieces. This is cost, no doubt. See? That's what I thought. I don't have enough of pieces. Got the other ones. I don't think they would have two right next to each other here. Huh? Well, let's go confront Caleb. We could always try coming back here if we can. That ritual, not. I suspect it's beyond me. It's not, but we agreed you won't need it. Besides, Caleb's work was poor. Your work is good. A ritual like that. Good is not a word that comes to mind. Yeah. Shitty. Find the key to open this. We'll get there. Go up there, yeah. been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah. Can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? Mm -hmm. 
Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. Oof. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? Still are. He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> There's something else you should know, if you don't know it already. I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. You died trying to save Ruth from a bonding house. True. True. And where was Caleb while all this was happening? He was there. He stood rooted in place, frozen in fear. And then it was this too late. Sucks. He could do nothing but watch us burn. Caleb's name was ruined then. We're just putting the boot in. Caleb was no saint, but this is hellish grim. Does he deserve it? Aye, he does. And it's not like I killed him. He's alive in here somewhere. Watching me ruin his name. Mm -hmm. He can hear me now. Destroying his reputation. As I had to hear him destroy mine when he painted me a fornicator. How oh, nice. He took our love. Ruth and mine and killed it. Now our love's reborn and he can do naught but sit and watch. Caleb was a cad. Shite on him. Let him suffer. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Mm -hmm. Love moves a soul to strange endeavours. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. Yeah. I understand your anger. More so your desire. But what of Ruth's? Did you consider what she wanted? Caleb stole a life from me. But he also stole Ruth's voice. She shrank beneath him. Of course she wanted a second chance at life. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! Uh -huh. We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Oh, please. I'll break it. Leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, perhaps the house Ruth died in will. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Mm -hmm. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Nothing. Ruth and ever Alexander are again. having an affair in her husband's body. Yeah, it's just fucking wrong. I can't find an angle with that. It's just plain wrong. Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. Mm -hmm. If we find the ghost tie, we can talk to her. Okay, where would this be? It's in the vicinity, right? Okay. And she can't be. Okay. Ghost wards I cannot manifest. The ghost wards feel far away from here. Just one keeps me from manifesting. Fancy knocking it down? Yeah. Take it out. 
The house that burned down. The roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris. Red, I can't manifest anymore. Which makes me believe How am I supposed to take out? Unless there's one closer. Let's go see. Because what I think is the way into this area is going to be in Think you can here. fend for yourself? something tinkling. Okay, can I see it from above? Wait, 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 can I get it over here? Ah. Okay. I'm with you once more. Thank you. Just gotta pay attention to all the little details. Rolling up a log after being startled by a wisp in Akashus. Never gonna let me live that one down, are you? I guess I'm going to move this back. There should be enough space. Okay, I can't get through it. Then we'll move it further on. Learn as you go. be nearby. Oh, God. Of course. Ruth's heart binds them like a bushel of rotting corn. Right there, you rank ramp. Whatever you found, it ain't yours. You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. 
Don't Is think I haven't felt your presence before. Stow your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Puck off and die! I'm in charge here! No! Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Mm -hmm. Go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. I would say we have all the right. Make manifest, I guess. Her heart! Give it back! Pay me me garden. No more does he silence me. We may speak. Help me, please. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? He tore me in two. I loved Alexander. But I deserve to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. Mm -hmm. I thought I married the better brother. But I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. <sighs> and yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. How did Caleb treat you? With adoration. I was an idol. Worshipped, yet unloved. He was the sculptor and I was the statue. Smiling down, unmoving from my pedestal with nothing to say. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Thing about Caleb, he was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Wait. We Lammy Arsko gave Caleb the resurrection ritual. After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Ooh, Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay. Please, Ruth, let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now.
What? You know what? Fuck out, dinner. <clears throat> Doesn't deserve it. Alexander, yours is no romantic fable. There is no moral to this tale. You're a hostage taker. Nothing more. No, Caleb can go to hell, for he well deserves it. But Ruth and I are in love. Greedy men fight over a woman as if she were a thing. Mm -hmm. I'm done with that old story. <coughs> Time to tell a better tale. I'm with Ruth you, is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you. You are dead. You are no more. Are they gone? Am I speaking with the cobbler, Caleb Watson? That you, Caleb? I, I, I think... Uh, yes, that's me. Or it, it was me, once. For my bastard brother was my hollow keeper. You're he not entirely happen. innocent, though. If you'll permit the unfortunate expression, there was more than one of you in it. My brother deserved damnation, and you gave it to him. I am an imperfect man, but, uh, but if you're considering the same for me, I'll not go without a fight. I too am an imperfect man. I have mercy and patience in limited supply. Let's not test those limits further, eh? Alexander loved Ruth like a man loves his hat. Mm -hmm. Love a woman like a thing, and you do not love her at all. Ruth I deserved agree. better. In life and in death. Mm -hmm. Let's go report to the governor that and see what kind of shit. Something. Don't take it to heart. Their choices are not your business. Our choices are my business. And their consequences too. Don't waver. We could win a battle, but we can't win the war. Nobody should conquer death. And we don't want to pay the price of trying. Bless I, is the man. I hear you. Good. Now, let's see what Lammy Haskell has to say about raising spirits from the dead. This should be interesting. Governor. May I help you, Mr. McCraith? I have to admit, this is an unusual case. Yes, yes, but have you solved it? Oh, yeah. I believe so. But the culprit was not responsible for the plague. At least not directly. Have you found the witch or have you not? Someone here has been dabbling in some dark magic. I have the name. So? What are you waiting for? Don't you want to hear the name? I do not need to. The principle is what matters. Not exactly. The name is... Lamentation Haskell. No, it can't be. My son is studious. Curious? Too curious at times, perhaps. But he does not have a bad bone in his heart. He showed Caleb Watson a ritual. The cobbler used it and became possessed. Even if true, it would only mean my son was exposed to corruption. Of course, it yeah, happened before. Like that. Bring me proof, Banisher. Find the real source of evil. I'll get it. Mark me. Okay. I must find your son, Governor. Sooner rather than later. His interests take him hither and thither. If he isn't here, he must be working on the outskirts. He's been sprucing up one of the abandoned houses there. I ordered them emptied when the sickness hit. Yeah. Take the gate key. Go there. See for yourself. You're wrong about him. You're wrong about my son. Sure. Needless to say that I count, of course, on your discretion. Of course. <laughs> 
If it was anybody else, you'd want them fucking flayed right away, asshole. Anyway, we have uh, gone on long enough today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you soon in our next one. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye. This is a song for all the riveted heads. This is a song.